How's it going everyone? Texas Man here. I hope that you guys are having a spectacular day. If you guys would, please give this video a thumbs up if you guys do enjoy it. Subscribe, of course, if you guys have not already. Also, doing the biggest favor of all, make sure you guys hit the bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. You guys can also head over to Twitch, follow me there, at Douglas447. I stream there at least once a week, whether it's for Halo, Battlefield, Call of Duty, Destiny 2, or anything else you guys suggest for me to stream over there. And as always, we're going to be talking positives and negatives, talking about the Ministry of Ungentlemanly ungentlemanly warfare from 2024 <laughs> the film's rated r for action and language and it's about two hours long and is based on the true events and people of the first ever black ops mission set during world war ii to neutralize the resupply of german u-boats the firm the film stars henry cavill and alan richardson in an this film and i think both actors have fun in their roles everybody else in the film though kind of feels just okay and that's what i'm going to describe this movie overall it's just okay it's an okay watch uh all the other characters that are in this film they're not really fleshed out they're just there to be there because they have to be the film doesn't like expand their backstory all that much and that kind of is one of the contributors to the pacing issue within the film. There are several scenes in this film that are just way too long and they're just extended by really boring drama and the dialogue. <laughs> There's a lot of dialogue in this film. And I think it wouldn't be so bad if the film had a lot more action sequences in this film. There's two action sequences in this entire movie there's one in the middle where the main group they're going off to rescue this master planner and that happens like within the first 30 45 minutes and then you've got um just a bunch of runtime that's centered on traveling and planning and talking and talking there's a lot of talking in this film okay <laughs> and it builds up to this you know grand espionage spy thriller theft heist finale and it just didn't feel satisfying to me i understand this is based on true events and what really did happen with real people but i just didn't feel the same energy as i was hoping the trailer really does a great job deceiving you as to what you're going to watch um, I will say I think this is probably going to be the closest film we're ever going to get to seeing Henry Cavill being a 007. Um, especially since the events in this film kind of led to the creation of the 007 character. But, yeah, the film just is a slog. It takes way too long to get to things. There's a lot in this movie I think that should have been edited out or ramped up and put more on a fast-paced track. And in doing so, the prob the runtime probably would have been about 30 minutes shorter, which is fine. Um, there are good parts in here, but I think there's some things that could have just worked out better as in terms of how characters learn certain things. The sets, using practical and CGI effects, do a great job. The action is okay, but unfortunately, like I said, it's nothing memorable, and there's only really two action sequences in this entire film. Overall, I think the Ministry of ungentlemanly warfare it's decent but it's disappointing and not memorable it's something that you can watch for two hours and shut your brain off and just have a good time with but i don't think it's anything that's gonna stand the test of time as being one of those movies that you really need to rewatch over and over and over again so i'm gonna give it a seven out of ten thank you guys for watching have a great day and i will see you guys on the next video or stream bye guys